Make a wish recipients and workers, what were some wishes you had to say no to? Mystery of Stuff Couple years ago, I went to Disney at Orlando, and there was a little boy running around wearing a shirt that said I'm a Make-A-Wish kid. My friend had to comfort me when I cried because the toddler's mom and then told the pretzel vendor his Make-A-Wish was originally Make Mommy Happy. When I was in high school I had a classmate who was diagnosed with cancer. She was on the softball team, I think it was softball though might have been soccer or something else. Her wish was for her along with her team to meet the US Olympic team. It was too much for make a wish to cover travel expenses for either team, but they were able to fly in one of the main players on the Olympic team to meet her team. She ended up making a complete recovery, and in fact by then I think she was completely cancer free. Still she wanted to do something for her team and not just her. Make a wish wish grande are here. And I have to say it is the ultimate sadness when we have to stop the process because a non-custodial parent won't sign the paperwork. It's happened far too often. Usually the wishes we had to say no to were from the kids' family members. There was always some uncle, grandma, cousin, sibling or parent who wanted to hijack the kids' wish. I wanted video games for all the time I had to spend stuck in a bed in the hospital. My mother made me pick a trip to Disney World so the whole family could enjoy it, and because Make-A-Wish does those all the time, and I should make things easier on them. Trips with my family were anything but enjoyable, and my mother would not even let my possible death stop her from reminding me I was a burden on everyone. My little brother has had two heart transplants so far and will probably get another before it's all said and done. His wish was to go to Nintendo. Well Nintendo Japan doesn't grant wishes, but Nintendo of America does. He stayed in Seattle for a few days and had a day-long tour of Nintendo. Unfortunately Reggie wasn't in the office that day, but the Treehouse staff led him around all day. This was right before the Switch came out so he got to play Breath of the Wild before anyone. They gave him a sweet goodie bag and let him go on a shopping spree in the employee store. I received a wish when I was 15. At that time I was madly in love with Harry Styles and of course wanted to use my wish to meet him and spend the day with him. After telling the wish coordinator that she broke the news to me that if I were to meet him it would be a year from then, with about 15 other kids for a very brief moment, a hello and a photo. Upon hearing the disappointing news I changed my wish and instead went to Australia for 10 days with my family and swam in the Great Barrier Reef. I asked for a shotgun because I was into clay shooting. They said no. Went for a rally driving day, they picked my family and I up in a limo. Drove us two hours to the place and then I had the whole place to myself and lots of time behind the wheel. It was great. They paid for pro pictures and a meal after for my family and my godparents' family. Even just gave me some spending money. I had a great time. Ten years later, still alive. My condition prevented international travel, so even though my top wishes were to go to Japan or to the UK to meet J.K. Rowling, those were denied. I ended up doing a shopping spree at Mall of America, which sounds kind of lame, but I grew up poor and had a lot of fun being able to just buy things for myself without worrying. First thing I bought was a new pair of glasses since my old ones were scratched to shit and too weak anyway. When I was in college I had a good friend named John, we were both in automotive 8 hours a day for 2 years. One day we grabbed sushi on lunch and he casually mentioned at 12 years old, current age 20, he was a recipient of Make-A-Wish. He asked for sushi and just sushi. You could see his eyes light up just telling the story, they set him up with a private lunch at a local sushi bar where he had the entire selection of sushi rolls laid out in front of him with each and every possible condiment slash roll slash side. Not an expensive or grandeur request, but make a wish went above and beyond. When I was a baby until I was five I had cancer and got some wishes. My first wish was for a computer. I only wanted a computer because it came with a mouse. Yes, I thought it came with a real mouse. So obviously it was rejected because you can't have pets when you basically live in a hospital and my family was broke as fuck anyway so they couldn't give us a pet. 
I ended up getting some dope-ass googly eye glasses and an epic trip to Disney World. It was the only family vacation we ever got to go on. I knew a friend who had cancer and overcame it, and he talked about make a wish, if it's not accepted you apparently get a first-class trip to Disney World most people can't afford. He said he went to Disney World cause he wanted to meet a skater that was in Europe on some tour. I was really lucky to have my make-a-wish granted, and I just want to say they really go above and beyond. My mom has always talked about going to Hawaii, and we knew it was pretty unrealistic for our family of four. I was pretty young when I made my wish so I didn't even know all that Hawaii had to offer, but I chose to go there for my wish. They put us up in a penthouse suite on Waikiki Beach, and I've never experienced anything more special in my life. Everything and everyone there wanted to make sure my family had an unforgettable time, and we sure did. We were able to forget about the cancer for a little while and feel like a normal family again. Thank you so much make a wish and all that contribute. I'm from MN. When I had leukemia 30 years ago, I remember my wish was to go to the Grand Canyon. My parents straight up vetoed me, and instead the family, two sisters, went to Disney World and other Orlando attractions through the Give Kids the World program. It was the right decision, but still. Mystery of Stuff